Hello and welcome to Rippin' Chips channel. Today I'm going to show you how to tear apart a TRX 2.5. It uh, came off my Traxxas T-Max. Um, earlier on in the day it decided to uh, seize up on me. I tore it apart and found that my connecting rod had slammed off the side of the block. And the bearings are very bad. There's a lot of wobble in it. So, I tore it apart, found out what was wrong, threw it back together quick, and now I'm going to show you how to tear it apart in case the same thing happens to you. So, first, let's uh, work on the carburetor here. There's a little nut on the back side there. Just want to take that and just loosen it up slightly. You don't got to take it all the way off. Just loosen it up. Then you take the carburetor and just twist it slightly and pull it right off. Just like that. Next, I got a pull start and I like it. I mean, I know I have other vehicles that have a the electric start, they're very nice too, but pull start works for what it is. There should be four bolts in here, four little screws, right there at the corners. I just have one, so it doesn't take forever to take them off. Let's take that off, and slide it straight off. There's a one-way bearing, it stayed on there. You want to take that off too, make sure you know which way it goes. It goes one way or the other. Make sure when you take it off you feel it and see which way it goes. Next there's a backing plate here. I'm going to let that on for now. Take part of the front here. So you got this little E-clip in the front. I want to pop that one out. Mine comes out with my fingernail. Uh, but some of them, you gotta use a screwdriver. Oh, now it's gonna lie to me. I did pop it out the first time with my fingernail. Let's take a little screwdriver and slide it right off. Then you got a little washer there. Pop that off. Make sure you save all your parts. You don't want to lose them. Washer's on there to space it out so the E-clip stays on. You got the little gear. And the housing for the clutch. Pop that off. Get that little bearing out. Right there. Make sure you check all your bearings too. Uh, make sure they're not rough. Uh, throw some oil on them before you assemble it back together. There's the clutch. Okay, now we're at the flywheel. I had a terrible time getting my flywheel off. Uh, I watched a video on it and decided to uh, just try my way because I didn't have a little puller. They have the, it's like a gear puller. You stick it on the front here and it's got a screw. You screw down and it's got like a hook like this and it just pops it right off. Let's get on that nut there at the end, unscrew it, and if you're lucky, it'll just pop off like that. If you're not, I used a pair of channel locks, I grabbed the flywheel with it. I took it and I went down like so and just whacked it on a piece of wood. So make sure you hit it on something soft because otherwise you will mess the end of the shaft up here and if you do that then your bearings won't slide on correctly. And if that happens I don't know you probably have to get some sandpaper or maybe a little Dremel and be very careful. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that happening. 
And then I got to this point here, and it's a little, uh, it's a little uh, collar, I guess. Um, pretty much what you do with that, you could get a little screwdriver and open it up there a little bit and slide it off. I didn't have a small enough screwdriver at the time, so I'll show you what I did, and it's pretty much the same thing of taking the flywheel off, but when we get there. Next, let's pop the uh, cooling head off, and I got one screw here, just for demonstration purposes again. Let's pop that off. And there we go. Now we can see the top of the piston. You can see the sleeve there. And on the sleeve you can see that little pin and a little cutout on the sleeve. I'll tell you about that here in a second. Alright. Let's get the backing plate off of here. And when you take it off, just try and pull it straight out. Be gentle with it. There is a little rod in here. Comes out like so. It's got a little bushing in there, a little brass bushing. Just make sure that it's nice and solid. This one is. Now, we get to this point, and this is where I got stuck, and couldn't figure out how to get the sleeve out, so I found one useful tip off the internet, and you go and put the piston down, so you can see your exhaust port, you get a little zip tie, shove it in through there, like so. Grab the end of the crankshaft here and press up on it and turn it and it should come up. Right now this one's not. So then I got my channel locks and I just grabbed the end of the collar here and just twist it up slightly until you can get up till you get underneath the lip and there's the lip I don't know if you can see that or not there we go you do gotta be gentle with it but I mean it's a pretty thick uh, sleeve so you'll see it I'll show it to you here in a second so I got it lifted up there I got a little lip. I took a screwdriver and I went underneath this lip and just twisted it up slightly till it started popping up to where I could grab it with my fingers. Then I just slid it right out like so. Next you got the little piston and the rod in there and I took it to top dead center like so, took it and just hit it like that, slid off the little shaft there of the crank, took my crank, moved it down a little bit and just slid it right out. There's the piston, the rod, make sure everything moves nice. Now we got the little crank here and we got to press that off. Now what I did originally was just took it and smacked it down and it popped right out. So that's what I'm going to do again. Let's put it here on the rubber piece and just whacked it down and boom it pops right out. Slide that straight out. That's your crank. Then you got that little collar there, that little tapered collar. Set that off to the side. And that's it. It's uh, pretty much all torn apart. You got the bearings in there. I found out my bearings were awful. They're very rough. Um, 
I didn't maintain this motor at all <laughs> when I ran it. And I had it for a long time now. And just didn't maintain it at all. And it goes to show, if you don't maintain it, the bearings will go out. But that's it. I should give another video on how to uh, remove the bearings and replace them. I found a couple places online. You can get them for like 7 bucks. But once I get the bearings ordered, I'll make another video of how to replace them. Thank you.